Hello everyone, I'm Callie behind Callie Sweetery, if you don't know me already. So I have never done a talking video before, so bear with me because it's a little interesting for your first time. But today I'm going to show you how to DIY your own cake photo studio because we all know how important Instagram is in today's growing innovative society. And especially if you're trying to grow your cake business, you want to take the best quality pictures possible. And I looked into photo studios on Amazon. You can totally get them 30 to 50 bucks, but they're a little bit shorter too, like below 16 inches. These are going to be 20 inches tall, so you can fit those larger cakes in there and you can do various backgrounds and all that. But first of all, I'm going to show you what materials we are going to use today. So I have a couple different types of glue here, you know, glue stick, regular glue, but of course, most important, your hot glue gun. We're gonna need a lot of extra hot glue sticks, command strips, AAA batteries, LED lights that touch to start, which is very convenient for a mobile cake studio. And then I have these foam boards from Walmart. They're gonna be 15 by 20 inches, so 20 inches tall pretty awesome for those taller cakes and then and oh by the way we have six of these because I'm gonna make a couple different backgrounds but if you want to do a minimum just five is all that's necessary for this project and then finally my most favorite part we have different backgrounds so I got the best paper at Hobby Lobby I went to Joann's Hobby Lobby Walmart and Target for the record, Hobby Lobby has the cheapest, most best options around. Um, four for a dollar for these guys. Pretty awesome. But anyway, oh, and I went to Michael's too. So yeah, Hobby Lobby for the paper. Way more variety. So I got a sprinkles background. I got a marble background because we got to keep it cute and classic at the same time. Super fun summer background. I recommend getting at least four of these just because you want to make sure it covers the whole backdrop. And finally, my favorite one, the wood one. This is also from Hobby Lobby. Super excited about this because it's so freaking cute. Okay. So, we need to begin by, so this is gonna be the bottom of your platform. Bottom, and then we're gonna have two sides like this. We're gonna need to go this way essentially like that. So we're going to get started here with our hot glue stick. Okay, so we just wanna run it along the edge. Hot glue is the most dirty, so you need to use hot glue for this part or your cake studio is not gonna stand up. E6000 might work too if you like E6000 industrial glue. Also find that at Hobby Lobby, Walmart, all of the above. All right, so one strip of glue. Okay, so now that our batteries are in, check these out. Very cool, I am very excited. This is so convenient for us because you're not gonna have to reach too far to kind of get in there and, okay. But so at this point, we're gonna use our little strips to stick on the back of this to attach to the top of our photo studio. The reason we are using these is because we need to be able to change the batteries in the future on our LED lights. So if you do not do that, you are not going to be able to change the batteries. So, you know, it's just so you can easily unstick it. So we're just going to use one for each.
All right, now for the second to last step, what we are going to do is I just cut my poster board, my wooden looking poster board, into the exact same size as my foam board. And I'm just gonna... For this wooden backdrop that I found. It doesn't look like such nice rustic wood that's perfect for a bright cake. Ugh, so excited. Okay. So to me, it's logical to do two neutral backdrops. I'm gonna do one neutral backdrop on this side. My other neutral backdrop will be on this side. So now I'm gonna use the marble paper, do the exact same thing. All right. Now that we have officially finished our DIY cake photo booth, I am excited to show you how it works. So we have our structure right here. If you turn this around, you're gonna see that we have a command strip on the top so we can put in our various backgrounds very easily and snap them just right back off as we want to. And then lastly, we have our little touch to start lights up here, 20 lumens from Walmart, very cool, attached to the top with a command strip each. And that is because you wanna be able to change the batteries. So, as you can see here, we have one of our backdrops. It also has a command strip at the top because it needs to match with that other command strip so we can easily take it on and off the back of our box. Very lightly attached, barely at all, just so we can have that backdrop super easy to snap on and off, like I said. So excited, so much fun. Look at these lights, look at that brightness. Imagine having a cake in there. Gorgeous pictures every time. 